Hey, 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 you guys, welcome back. I know, long time no see, right? But we've been back to the Dollar Tree and we have a few fun things to show you. So stick around. Well, 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 I know it's been a while. It's been a little while. I don't think I've seen you guys on here since my birthday. Well, maybe there was one other time. We did the oysters, right? We did the oysters after my birthday, and I think that was the last time. So how are you? How you been doing? We've been doing good around here. <laughs> Still have not been to the Dollar Tree, though. Let me tell you how this little haul happened. A couple of days ago, we had met up with Richard and Michelle. If you follow me over on Facebook, then you saw that picture posted. She is from Way to Sun. They were in Florida, and when they were coming down, she tried to get in touch with Baby Girl to get some of her cookies. The scheduling just didn't work out, but she had said, oh, I really hope I get to meet you while I'm down there. So I said, all right, we can do that. I sent her a message, said, how about dinner? We can do dinner. We met for dinner, and while we were sitting there, she started talking about being in the Dollar Tree. Well, naturally, that wet my appetite, <laughs> and I said, oh, I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a while, whipped out my phone and realized I think it's been like two months, two months since I stepped foot inside of a Dollar Tree. Well, the evening went on. We had a great time left there and I told the hubs, I said, okay, you've got to stop me by Dollar Tree. I need to go in for just a minute. Guess what? We got there at closing time. <laughs> they were already rushing people out the door and not letting anybody else in. So I didn't get to go. I was super bummed, so disappointed that I didn't get to head into the Dollar Tree. But the very next day we get up and baby girl says, I need to go get some stuff from Dollar Tree. I'm like, oh, you do, you're going? I couldn't go with her, had other things that were on my schedule. And I said, well, how about if I send you with 20 bucks? If I send you with 20 bucks, would you do some shopping around for me and get me some stuff that you know I'll love that I haven't been able to see because I haven't been in there? And she's like, yeah, sure, mom, not a problem. So this little haul, this one little bag right here is all the stuff that she picked up for me that she thought I would like. And then I'm going to show you some of the other stuff that she got. If that sounds like fun, then hang tight because here we go. All right, reaching into the bag. I'm excited because I have no clue what's in here and what she picked up. Let's see, number one. Ooh, all right, all right. She got me some more of the gel pens. You guys, I use these all the time in our business and certain things that I'm having to document and write down, I like to color code. These are my favorite pens. You get eight for a dollar. Yes, there are eight of these for a dollar. And if you've got color coding to do, these I highly recommend. So, all right, baby girl, good job. Next up in the bag, she's gotten So Natural Freeze Dried Strawberries. All right, this is a good purchase because she must remember, I have done a taste test on these before for you guys. I'm not sure, honestly, if it was the same exact brand, but we have done the freeze-dried strawberries from Dollar Tree before. They are absolutely delicious. I haven't had those in a while, so nice job, nice job. Let's see what else we've got down in here. What is this? They had real techniques at the Dollar Tree? Yes, all right, Fort Miracle Blotting Cushions. Look at here, you guys, yes. All right, y'all know I love Real Techniques. We've talked about them on the channel before. This is a smooth and perfect with the cushion compact. Nice, nice, nice. Baby Girl and I both use their brushes, their sponges for applying foundation, powders, and all that fun stuff. So I'm excited to try these. All right, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. All right, let's see what she got now. All right, she got two packs of those. So I think we'll probably share these. All right, that's good, that's good. More real techniques. What is this now? A foundation applicator. Full coverage foundation applicator. This looks like the new gel one. So let's see, I don't have my glasses on. It's smooth, effect, flexible surface to help hygienically transfer product to your skin. All right, I have seen girls on YouTube doing the foundation with some of these. It's like a silicone or a gel-like sponge that they've been using to move that foundation around. I don't know that I've seen them do the real techniques, but 
I'm excited about that. Who knew that Real Techniques had made it to Dollar Tree? Girls, you better run because Real Techniques at the bomb.com. All right, all right. Let's see what else we've got. Something from Frog Togs. <laughs> Frog Togs Cooling Wrap. It's a chili mini cooling wrap. Let's see. I don't have my glasses. I should know to bring my glasses. Let's see here. The Chili Mini Cooling Wrap absorbs sweat and keeps you cool during a tough workout. All right. Now that is really awesome. I don't know. And she probably didn't get this for me because let's just be honest. Mom ain't been working out. <laughs> so she probably picked this up for the bubster. You guys probably, if you're watching his channel, y'all know he is working out all the time. All the time he is working out. And uh, I'm going to assume this is probably for him, but that sounds really cool. Wrap it around your neck, and it's supposed to help you stay cool during a workout. Cool. All right, reaching down in the bag. Oh, okay, a second pack of those pins. Nice, because I go through these like crazy. All right, what's in here? What's in here? Soccer drink floaty. Oh, no way. Look how cute this is. Oh, my goodness. You guys, it is a little inflatable soccer ball that has a little dip in the center there where you can put a beverage. I guess you can put either a drink can or a glass, it looks like, your water bottle, whatever. Uh, it's a shame we don't have the pool up anymore. I'd just be floating around with that, but mm, I can just float around with it right here on the couch and pretend, right? I can sip on my drink, have my little inflatable, and pretend that I'm floating in the cool water. Yeah. All right, let's see, let's see. What is in here? Ah, oh, some nice scotch bright heavy duty scouring pads. You can never have too many of these, you guys, whether it's for cleaning your tubs, cleaning your grill, cleaning inside of your pots and pans. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, I see something for a gunner. Looky here, he loves these little things. And yes, I know. Several of you guys have told us to be very careful with snacks from the Dollar Tree, and we are. We do try to look the ones up that we get, make sure they're made in the USA and all that kind of stuff with the good ingredients. But this is one that he absolutely loves from Gravy Train, so he'll be happy. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, Gunner got something else. Let's see what this is. Dog Treats. I think that says Fopper. Is that the name of the brand? I'm not even positive that's what it says. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. Those look like little teeny, like, um, like uh, cookie dough. You know, whenever you have cookie dough, that's what that looks like. Oh, my, my, my. Hmm. I don't think he's had these before. We'll see how he likes them. All right. What else did she get? Okay. This, ooh, all right. She got two of these little storage containers with the little lids. All right, this is like, hold on, there we go. Oh, very nice. Hear that? Hear that seal? All right, that is very nice and tight. Feels very nice, thick plastic. Feels like a great quality. It is from the SureFresh brand. You can put all kinds of stuff in here, like flour, sugar, or whatever. I'm not real sure what her idea is for these. I would think, I don't know, maybe since she bought Gunner some treats, we're going to have new dog treat containers. I don't know. Maybe since she baked so much making her cookies, and therefore her cookie supplies. I don't know. We'll have to see what she has planned, but at any rate, she got us two of those. All right, so that was the end of my bag. I have to say, she did good. She did good. There's some fun stuff in there. I'm telling you, it's been forever since I went into the Dollar Tree. No idea that they had real techniques in there. I haven't even watched a Dollar Tree haul. Wow, I haven't watched a Dollar Tree haul <laughs> and probably, I don't even know that I've watched one since quarantine, honestly. I don't know that I have because I am always so, so busy. Don't have a lot of time for YouTube. Whenever I do, it's late at night and I just catch up on a video or two. And honestly, I don't think there's been any Dollar Tree hauls in that mix. I know, shame on me. All right, now let's tear into her bags and see what else she found at Dollar Tree. Ah, okay, first up, let's see here. Double bubble gumballs 
in a very cherry. Now I am going to assume, I don't know for sure. She's got three bags of those. I'm going to assume, I don't know for sure, but the Bubster's 21st birthday is next week. I know. Can you guys believe it? Y'all have been watching the kids since they were a lot smaller than they are now. <laughs> he is going to be 21. I can't even believe it. So I'm thinking some of this might be for his party. So let's see. I can tell there's some other kind of candy in here. Oh, now I know these have to be for him and his party because he loves Twizzlers. He absolutely loves Twizzlers. She's gotten him the black licorice and strawberry. Mm, he is going to be a happy boy. She picked up four of those. He's going to be a real happy boy. All right. Let's see. Oh, this one's double bag. There must be something breakable. I hear a little clanging. I think it is something breakable. Ooh, look at these. I hope you guys can see that well. They are glasses, pedestal glasses, which I absolutely love. They look a little elegant, don't they? These are black. Well, it's like a smoky black that fades up, gradiates to clear. And I can tell she's got four of those down in the bag. Now, I'm thinking, because our house is not black, that these must be for the party. Because I do know that the color scheme is going to be red and black. His favorite colors and I think we're gonna throw some gold in there as well so I'll be curious to see what she does with these of course you guys know we'll show you and let you know wow this one is a big old bag all right let's see what's in it all right first up out of the bag balloon sticks 12 balloon sticks in here and looky here they've even got the little pedestals down at the bottom I guess these are for sitting around either on a table or something like that. So my best guess is she's planning all the decor this time. We've come up with a theme together and have been talking about how we want to do some things. She has all in her mind some of the decor that she wants to incorporate. Y'all saw what she did for my 50th. She is so fantastic at it. So I can't wait to see where she's going to put these. All right. What else is in the bag? Okay, we've got some red cups to go with that red and black theme for the birthday. Oh, all right, we needed plates. Oh, I'm so glad she got the square ones. I love square dishes so much better than round. I really, really do. As a matter of fact, you guys probably know because we put it in a haul somewhere along the line, not necessarily a haul because they came from Walmart, but in vlogs over on the health channel when we were doing all the cooking for you, I was showing you all the food every day on Christmas plates throughout the whole year. <laughs> so we had broken down and we got new dinner where this was, I don't know, probably three or four years ago. You guys saw them. they were square. I love square dishes. Don't ask me why. And you guys didn't even need to know all that. But anyway, we've got black to go with the theme. All right. What is this? What is this? Let's see. Oh, she's got some loot bags. All right, these are what you would normally put little treats in. All right, she found these in the Halloween section, it looks like. We don't do Halloween around here, so I know it's not for Halloween. I'm going to guess. I think that those are candy corn. They're so cute, so, so cute. There are... I don't have my glasses, so I can't tell for sure. Oh, there it is right there. 20 bags. There's 20 bags in here with the twist ties. Now, one can only guess, since she bought two of these, that these are probably going to have something to do with her cookies. If you guys aren't following her yet over on Facebook and Instagram, you guys need to. I'll have her links for you down below. She has an amazing little cookie business going on, and I am assuming she's going to be stuffing some in these bags for fall. All right, reaching deep down in here. Oh, yes. Okay. She was telling me about these. She got one, two, three, four, and five. She got five of these magnifying glasses. Oh, cool. She's going to paint these up. I believe she told me, if I'm not mistaken, she's painting them gold. She's going to have her daddy 
stop by on the way home from work to get her some gold spray paint. She's going to take these and spray paint these gold because we're having a mystery theme party. Yes, through the quarantine, we have gotten so uh, enamored with, is that a good word? Excited about, fallen in love with, whatever, whatever term you want to use there. The mystery channel on Hallmark, watching things like Aurora Tea Garden, Haley Dean. There's also garage, garage sale mysteries, I think is what it's called. Um, Picture Perfect Mysteries or something along those lines. Mystery 101. I don't know. There's a lot of them. A lot of those shows on Hallmark that are all about solving mysteries. We've kind of gotten a little bit in the habit of watching those. <laughs> so that's the theme we're going with. He's had so much fun and he loves trying to watch the show and figure out who done it before the end to see if he can figure it all out. You know what I'm saying? We all do. We all sit there making our best guesses. So right before the end, we'll be like, who do you think done it? Who do you think done it? And we we'll all have our guesses. You know what I mean? It's been a really fun thing to do as a family while everybody's in the house. And uh, yeah, so that's what we figured we would do with his party. We're going to make some little clues and set it up that way. You know what I'm saying? I can't give away too much just in case he happens to overhear on this video. But anyway, it ought to be a lot of fun. So that's what she plans to do with these. All right. And it looks like that's all that she got this time. What a fun haul. It was fun for me because I had no idea what she got. I love pulling things out of the bag and just seeing, woo. All right. Some of them I'm still not sure and real clear on what the purpose is going to be. All I could do is tell you my best guess, probably good guesses maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'll find out from her in a little bit what she does really plan to do with all of it. But this was fun. This was fun. I like it whenever I send them off and say, just surprise me. Bring me something and surprise me. And she really did. She did good. All right. Well, I want to thank you all so very much for hanging in there with me for a few minutes this afternoon. Hope you are all doing well, staying safe. We are praying for all of you. If you are in the northwest part of the country with all the fires and things that's going over there, truly devastating. And you are in our thoughts and in our prayers. We are asking the Lord for some miracles over there to help get this thing under control quickly, quickly. If you are in the South, we're praying for you guys, all those hurricanes and tropical storms that are floating around out there, seven at one time. Can you guys believe that? Oh my goodness. And then we know up in the Midwest, you guys in Iowa and Missouri, that whole area up there had that like inland hurricane that hit. Oh my goodness. We saw about that. And then of course, just all, all the mess that's happening all over the country. We're praying for everybody. We truly are. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. If there's something specific that you guys want us to pray with you about, then by all means, shoot me an email, divinedesign at yahoo.com. I would be happy to lift you and your family up in prayer and uh, ask God to just help us make it through. 2021 can't come fast enough, right? I think we all can agree on that. All right. Well, thank you so much again for sitting here with me this afternoon. We will see you all again very soon. Until then, remember that you were created for purpose. So get out there and be all you can be. I'll see you soon.